I recently downloaded the Wish app on my phone and decided to make a couple purchases for the fun of making a video because, well, if you've never been on Wish, it's pretty interesting what you can find on there. For the uninformed, Wish is an app or possibly also a website where you can download the app on your smartphone and you can go and purchase all kinds of little knickknacks, maybe some patty wax, and then you can just buy whatever you want that you find on there and it's all pretty cheap for the most part compared to what you'd find prices of on things like Amazon or eBay or things like that. However, you're not really going to find the products that you would find on Amazon or eBay. Instead, you are going to find what Wish has to offer. Now, what does Wish have to offer? Well, for example, you can buy this... Uh... You can buy this 16-bit handheld game console, portable video game, 150 games, retro Mega Drive, PXP. You can see Donkey Kong and all his pals, Mario, Crash Bandicoot, Astro Boy. I mean, for $9, it sounds... Sounds like a bargain to me. And not to mention my personal favorite, 24 pieces, lot, anime figures, action, anime, kids, toys, kawaii, girls and boys, toys, children, best toys. Which features Pokemon, 144 species, they couldn't even get the original 150. But if this naked child is anything to go off of, I'd say these toys aim to please. Now what did I order from Wish? Well, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know, because I think I'm going to put it in the title and the thumbnail, but I ordered me some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I ordered a few packs, well, it, I didn't even know they were going to be packs, but I ordered some Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Wish for dirt cheap. Almost too good to be true. So first we have the 27 piece slash three bags of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Those three packs were completely free. In addition to that, I found a separate listing for another set, uh, but it's supposed to be another three packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and that was only one dollar plus a couple more bucks for shipping. So I was just like, wow! That sounds amazing! What a deal! I've always wanted to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's buy some cards from Wish for only a dollar and some shipping. And so I did, and now here they are. They've arrived uh, in my home. These are all from some Flames of Destruction set, apparently. They are all first edition. How lucky is that? And uh, yeah, let's open these totally legitimate and totally real Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I paid almost nothing for. Oh, oh, there is one thing that I did order to celebrate this momentous occasion, and I mean, for the price that it, it cost me, I couldn't not order it. Because I tell you right now, for free, with just a couple dollars shipping, I also purchased the Millennium Puzzle. Aren't you jealous? I am Yugi himself. So, I'm gonna take you to the Shadow Realm. Turn off the lights. Shadow Realm, here we are, let's go. So now that I've got all these Yu-Gi-Oh packs ready to be opened, as well as my very important Millennium item that I'm now wearing, it's time to do, 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 do this! O open the cards, I'm gonna open the cards now. So excited. I haven't opened a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards in like 13 years, I think? Maybe more? Since like high school. All right, so taking a look here, um... You know what? At first I was like, hey, these actually seem like they could be real. Um, but no, as I kind of expected, these are not real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I have been had. I have been taken for a ride for my hard-earned total of $5.90. I've wasted my money on some big Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Now I'm never going to get into the tournament and make it to the big leagues. And you know, it was it was really obvious, like, I, I knew before ordering that these were probably gonna be fake. Like, they, there's no way they're not, right, for that price. And then when I received the packs, I mean, just the color, the nasty color and, like, the blurriness. I mean, there's just something wrong, there's something off about the contrast of the colors on the front of these things. To be fair, these are pretty convincing fakes compared to the fakes I used to see back when Yu-Gi-Oh! was new. And they were all just, like, every card was full shiny, there were, like, some of them were stickers. Let's see, I'm not really gonna go through reading all of these cards, because I don't have that kind of time. So we've got Link Streamer, Red Reboot, Four... Four Siorge... Focus. Come on, focus! Four... Four Kyorge, the Elemental Lord, I do not know how to read that. We have Trickstar Mandrake, she's kind of cute, kind of looks like a little anime girl, kind of like a Hatsune Miku kind of thing going on. If this card is sent from the hand to the GY, I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in a long time or gotten any new cards in a long time, but I feel like it wouldn't be abbreviated to GY like that when they're talking about the graveyard. Uh, could be wrong on that though, let me know if I'm wrong. Toon Dark Magician! 
That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a thing. Then we have Rapid Red Haired Mare, Element Saber Makani. Oh, this dude looks awesome. Element Saber Lapa -u 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 Lapa Wheela. This dude. Pretty pretty cool. I gotta hand it to them. I mean, I'm pretty sure these are based off of real Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I, I hope. I would hope. Um, and I've always loved the art on Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and um, this is no exception. I'd say they, st they still got it. And next we have Blackwing, Silverwind the Ascendant, which is my shiny card. And it's a white one. Uh, I kind of stopped playing before the white cards were introduced. So for the next pack... Why is the rare one in front and facing the opposite direction on both packs so far? Alright, so next we have Prompt Horn. Cute little little baby animal thing. D Grenade Buster. Looks pretty cool. Looks like a, like a Titan or something on Destiny. Then we have Selective Reborn. Target three monsters in your GY. Why do they all abbreviate to GY? Is that a thing in Yu-Gi-Oh now? I really want to know. This... Millennium Puzzle is just jingling and jangling all up on my neck. Then we have Shrub Serpent. Some interesting looking art there. Let that speak for itself. Dark Lord Divinity. Ruthless Drop-Off. Dark Magical Circle. As described, a Dark Magical Circle. And then, oh, we actually have a Dark Magician. So that's kind of cool. More of a studly Dark Magician with his blonde hair blowing in the wind and he's just like, that's right, I'm here to take your girl. And then we have Troy, Troy Mare Goblin. What? So this is apparently a Link monster. Um, not sure at all what Link monsters are or what they do, but that's one of them. Next pack. Then we have Dark Mage Gold Flame Cannon. That's just Exodia. Is that really that card? Cannot be so normal. S must be special summoned from your hand by tributing one Forbidden One monster, and cannot be special summoned by other ways. So it, this is okay. So it has to deal with Exodia. That makes sense. Then we have World Legacy Awakening. Guki Hugbear. It. It's a hug bear. Pretty cool looking. It's just like this bear warrior man. He's angry and he wants to give you a hug. Angry hugs! Tindangle Trinity. Transfamiliar. Kind of cool. Looks like a dark Meowth. Like what the dark version of Meowth should have probably looked like. Then we have Elemental Training. Space Insulator. Looks pretty awesome. Trickstar Delafendian. Delafend. Delafendu. This one. Ignite Lancer. Like Ignite, but Ignite. Because he's a knight. How's this first slash last Yu-Gi-Oh unpacking going? Is it great? Pretty sure it's great. Like, like, comment, and subscribe if it's great. And if it's not, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to let me know. All right, next pack. This one actually didn't have the rare in front. We have uh, Altergeist Meliseek, World Legacy Nightmare, Light of Sekka, Designator from the Grave. The hand's just pointing at that dude like, you did this. Protron, kind of a cute little, looks like one of those things from like the PlayStation Eye game, like the whatever the game is that comes with the PlayStation I. Looks like one of those. There's no shiny in this one. There's no rare. So I guess that the rare is not just flipped over and in the front, it's not in the pack at all. Because this pack didn't have a rare at all. We got two more packs, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, it's almost over. Element Saber Nalu. These Element Saber characters, like these cards, are pretty nice designs. I can see myself using those. I used to like to use like the spellcaster cards back in the day. Um, and then I like to use like a lot of the um, agent cards, like the angel ones. I actually wanted to make a deck with those and I never got all the cards. I actually bought a couple and they never showed up to my house. And I was pretty heartbroken. I don't think we ever got the money back on that either. I bought it from a legit site, but they just got lost in the mail and that was it. Tiamaton, the Steel Battalion Dragon. That looks pretty cool. That looks like something out of Horizon Zero Dawn. This art, man, the art on these cards is just still, still great to this day. Another element saber, Molehu. He looks like a, a brooding gentleman with shiny, shiny armor and shiny, shiny weapons. He's a shiny, shiny boy. Next we have Boy Cotton. Are you kidding me with this design? Look how cute that little thing is. It's like a sad little sheepy with about to get shaved. Next we have Solar Battery Man. Oh, I'm gonna shock you. Outroll of the Haunted Sea. Looks like there'd be enemies on Golden Axe or something. Next we have Alter, uh, Altergeist Multifaker. That's the name they chose for that one. And then we have our rare, Blackwing, uh, Brolos the Mega Quake. This is like a big owl man with a big ol' big ol' shake weight. Leave it to me to get to the end of the video, the last pack, when I discover a better way to hold the cards. And we're down to the last pack. It's still, I opened it, but it's giving me some issues here. So we've got it open, we've got the rare card in front, we'll save that. I saw what it was. Really? That's the rare card? It's Gaia the Fierce Knight. Like, not even an alternate art of him or anything like the Dark Magician, it's just Gaia the Fierce Knight, like from the original Legend of Blue Eyes packs. We've got Trickstar Bella Madonna, Troy Mare Goblin, which I got earlier as a shiny, uh, so I don't know why that's not anymore. We have Troy Mare Unicorn, 
Vampire Sucker. That is an interesting design for a card of that name. Dark Magician Girl with different artwork as well. Kind of looks interesting. So there's Dark Magician Girl and her face is weird. Her face looks weird. Is it just me? It's weird, right? We have Cybersal Cyclone. And then we have freaking Exodia, the Forbidden One. Also from the original. I, I, I don't know anything about this set. I don't know if this set actually brought back old cards. I don't know if it's a thing for these sets to bring back old cards now or something. Oh, these cards are like damaged. Look at that. Oh, these cards are damaged. Look at that. They had kind of unprofessional. Maybe it's because of the way I opened them. They were, they were not opening. So yeah, that is my Yu-Gi-Oh! unpacking of unfortunately pretty fake Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I'm not gonna... S I don't like to throw the word scam around lightly, but bruh, I think I just got scammed. They saw me coming a mile away, they were like, hey, he'll totally take these Yu-Gi-Oh cards for free. I mean, it's free Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? Which makes me wonder, like, what's the point? If the shipping is only a couple bucks, and the cards are free, what's the point of even selling them? Do they get some kind of kickback from Wish? I paid $5.90 for six packs of cards and the Millennium item, which is priceless. So I don't understand how they're making their money over there. But that's all I got to say about that. If you enjoyed this, I'm actually thinking about making this sort of a series. Not the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, but the Wish thing. Because Wish, as I showed you earlier, has some interesting stuff. And if it came down to it, I would totally be down to order some stuff here and there from Wish just to kind of demonstrate its use on video for you guys. Uh, that'd be that'd be fun. So if that sounds like something you would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, and also be sure to subscribe. And you know what really helps fund buying things from Wish? Money. So if you'd like, you can support the channel by liking this video, sharing it, telling your friends about the channel. That'll help the channel grow, which will bring in more views, which will then bring in a little bit of extra spending money for old Portly to invest right back into the channel for things like Wish videos or other games that I'd want to show you guys. Um, other than that, that's it. My camera just died. So you're just hearing my voice now. Camera just overheated, just turned off, there's the beep. You're just hearing my voice. So let's just, I'm gonna throw something on the screen Do I say thank you and goodbye. And if you wanna watch another video, I've got a couple linked here. You can also subscribe by clicking on my face right there. This uh, has been fun. Okay, bye-bye now.